Although I continued to work when I took drugs, I didn't make my best work some of the time. I never really, um, I never really wanted to take drugs. I just joined in for the sake of it. If I could go back to when I first saw a line of cocaine, I would say no now. Hi, I'm Elton John. Hi, I'm Charlie Puth. And we'll be answering fans' questions for Lad Bible. Who were your favorite musical artists to listen to growing up? Well, I grew up in, in the late 40s and early 50s, so there was no rock and roll at that time. I was listening to uh, K-Star, uh, Johnny Ray, Guy Mitchell, Frankie Lane, Nat King Cole. And then, of course, it all changed when I heard Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis Presley. And then Little Richard and Jolie Lewis hammering the shit, the, you know, the shit out of the piano. And that's when I decided I wanted to be like them. Um, it was, you know, things changed so radically when Elvis came along in the 50s, socially as well as musically. And then when the Beatles happened in the 60s, they even revolutionized things more. And musicians started to work with each other. And, you know, music, but musicians from different genres would experiment with other. It was a wonderful time. I grew up listening to uh, a hodgepodge of things. I, uh, the, the Carpenters, James Taylor, and The Chronic by Dr. Dre is the reason why I want to produce music those drums. Which one of your songs are you most proud of and why? I'd say your song, because it was the first good song I wrote, my first hit, and then I've never got fed up with singing it, and it's lasted. So you look at the chart and your name is above people you've loved all your life and respected. You know, I, I looked at my uh, uh, your song, or the Elton John record, and it was above George Harrison, and I kept looking at the billboard and going, this can't be right. I'm a, I grew up with the Beatles, this can't be right. I mean, you never get over that. It's a good song. I'd say See You Again for me, even though it's not technically my song. Um, but I wrote it and came from a place of heart. Do you have a favorite pair of sunglasses? Um, not really, because I've got so many I can choose. Uh, wherever mood I'm in, um, I'm, you know, I'm very lucky to have so much to choose from. How many do you have? Oh, God, I'm not sure. I mean, it's in the thousands. It has to be, yeah. I mean, I've been collecting them ever since, yeah, I mean, it's 1970 when I started wearing the, the stars and the, all the crazy glasses. I still have most of them. What is your go-to meal after a gig? It's very hard to eat after a gig because it's very mm -hmm. bad to eat that late at night. Mm -hmm. So I might have a handful of almonds and a glass of water, which is really boring, whereas <laughs> I'd love to have a pizza. Pizza after a show is incredible. I, I like having, I don't do it as much anymore. and. Maybe one day I too will have some almonds with water, but <laughs> I, 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 I have a s s weird fascination with getting off a of stage um, and just being by myself and having personal pan pizzas and like eating like a stack and like sleeve them. <laughs> Who is someone you would like to collaborate with that you haven't already? Oh, you've collaborated with everybody. I've collaborated <laughs> with most people. Mm. Um, Sam Fender. Mm. Uh, he's a British uh, rock and roll artist who's the best rock and roll artist there is. Like, he m makes Oasis sound like um, um, a, a calm, palm court trio. Uh, he's brilliant. In the spirit of not always doing pop records and branching out into other uh, fields, I, 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 if, if Yo-Yo Ma and I could write uh, something for him, and I don't even sing on the record, and maybe I don't even play piano on the record, but I get to construct a melody with Yo-Yo Ma, that's that's chill inducing. I would love that. I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. To date, is there any bit of your career that you would change? Yeah, I wouldn't have taken as many drugs. Definitely not. Although I continued to work when I took drugs, I didn't make my best work some of the time. I never really, um, I never really wanted to take drugs, I just joined in for the sake of it. And it became an addiction and I became an addict and an alcoholic and uh, I've since, you know, learned my lesson. But I would, if I could go back to when I first saw a line of cocaine, I would say no now. Uh, I can't say I have any regrets. Maybe I could have started earlier, but I'm, I'm almost just happy that I kind of started receiving like the amount of fame that I had at like 24 years old. I don't know if I'd be able to handle it earlier on. Who is your biggest inspiration? My husband, David. Oh. Without question. And my two children, but David, yeah. You know, I'm a 
living with me is not easy sometimes because artists can be very moody and they have self-doubt and he's very good at talking things over with me and making me see that making me see sense so if i didn't have him i don't know where i would be i i wrote the lyrics to after all about their relationship because i remember speaking to david and he said the words that you probably don't even remember inadvertently he said I, he said after all that i knew that i was the perfect manager and perfect partner for elton sum up your career in one word unexpected and the reason why i say that is because i am um, i was for i was never really a singer in my band the bluesology and then when I started writing songs, nobody recorded them, so I was forced to sing the songs. Mm. Um, and so I became a, a singer by accident. Great thing about life, it throws things at you that you totally don't expect. Um, my career and the success of my career when it started in 1970 and exploded, I never foresaw that coming whatsoever. Charlie? Uh, I would say a synonym of that, surprising. I too was writing records that nobody wanted to cut while I was in college. and. Uh, and the first record that started off for me was See You Again. And I just, am I was surprised that I was able to successfully put jazzish chord changes into pop music. But then I realized that you have been doing that all along. My, my, my bottom is getting sore from pinching it so much. No. I can't believe I get to hang out with him. It's not getting sore from me pinching it, by the way. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh. <laughs> that is lifting. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Jelly? Who came up with that as disgusting? <laughs>